One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so for this location, I'm in a very busy city centre in Manchester on the corner of Deansgate. Lots of traffic, lots of people walking about, so we should get a good idea for how each microphone um, compares when it, it tries to combat all of this noise um, and, and, and cut through to get my dialogue. Um, so it'll be good to see how each one compares signal to noise ratio, basically. So the microphones I'm using, I've got the MKH416 8060, I've got the Sankin CS3E and CS1, I've got the DPA4017B, MKH50 and the Sherp CMIT 5U and I've also thrown in there a Rode NTG2 uh, because that's becoming a more prevalent microphone at the entry level and I know a lot of cameramen are now buying that microphone when they're doing piece to camera type stuff. Uh, so it'll be good to compare how that uh, sounds to the more expensive microphones. Now this monstrosity is a windshield that I, I made up um, earlier on uh, to encase all eight microphones and it works perfectly so I'm quite surprised with that. Uh, microphones are on a slight angle towards me, uh, I'm probably six inches back uh, and pointing directly at my mouth um, and I'm not sure from your perspective it might look completely different to how it actually is so I'm going to stand underneath just to give you an idea. Now. I'm well off mic now, but just to let you know, those microphones, the ends of those microphones within that windshield are exactly six inches above my head when I walk directly underneath, so I'm not sure if you can see that through the windshield or not. Um, so there we go, very noisy, most people walking past right now, it goes completely quiet. There we go, we always get those guys walking past, which is exactly what I wanted for this test. So I'm going to be quiet now. Um, and let you check out the uh, the noise floor, just the, just the, the the general noise and how each microphone uh, works to try and reject some of that. Um, and before I do, to let you know, I've set all of the levels at the same apparent loudness. I'm using the Wingman app to monitor these levels, um, so they're all the same apparent loudness for my for my voice. Um, so the signal to noise ratio comparison should be pretty fair. So I'll be quiet now, and you can have a good listen for the next minute or so. few good sounds in there to compare. Uh, traffic stopped just to the left of me there uh, during that take. I can hear there's lots of people, music in cars uh, going on which is, is great for this comparison as they're walking past. Uh, I do want to point out as well that uh, you can get all of the individual audio files, you can download those from the website so you can have a good listen to each, each track and compare those. They're recorded in 2448. Uh, and what I would do is I'd loop certain sections of this uh, audio recording um, and then just solo each track to get a proper comparison. So the bit where the traffic was stood still and it was fairly quiet, I would loop that bit. And then certain parts where there's lots of noise and I'm talking, I would compare them to see how each microphone uh, performs on signal to noise ratio. So. There we go, I hope that was super insightful for you. I'm looking forward to getting this back and checking it out. There's a small chance they might all be identical because there's just so much noise going on, but whilst I wasn't talking for a moment there, I could see that the levels were all over the place. Some were really standing out to me and others weren't. So there we go, I hope that was, uh, was a good enough little comparison for you. Um, thanks for watching, cheers. <laughs>